Rick the Rock has come back to Fortaventura in Spain. That's right, I am. Just bringing it, I am Rick the Rock and welcome to the cool, to the hot people's WWE channel. I am in my hotel room, I am in Fortaventura, it's hot outside and as always, you guys know what to do. Follow me on Twitter at RickTheRockPate. And me on Facebook at Richard J. Pate. Comment below. Check out all my other videos. through my Raw episode review and NXT main event review. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you like and subscribe, you get a shout out and a couple of my story, The Wizard of Rock. Go and view and like my Facebook page, The People's WB page, Team Bring It, as well as WB Rain and World Wrestling Network on Facebook. Share this video all over the people's internet and tell all your friends about Rick The Rock. Because this is your Smackdown Review. Before I get into the, my Smackdown Review, um, there have been quite a number of releases, some WWE releases today. Um, Santino Morello, Hornswoggle and Zev Coulter. Um, these weren't really getting used anyway. Uh, Alex Riley, Cameron, both both those could have been used on NXT. Um, as well as Damien Sandow, he could have been used. And uh, King Barrett, or Way Barrett. I knew he was leaving you know, the, the next month or the month after, but still, they could have done something with him before he left. Um, but, as I said, this is my SmackDown review. So, on SmackDown, it was Chris Jericho's highlight reel and his guests were Sami Zayn and the inner colour champion of The Miz. Sami Zayn came out talking, then The Miz did. Not really much we said here, but it led to a match. And the high-flying Sami Zayn beat The Miz by DQ because Kevin Owens got involved. And now it looks like it's going to be The Miz versus Kevin Owens versus Sodoro versus Sami Zayn in a fatal four-way match for the inner colour championship at Extreme Rules, maybe with a stipulation added. In a fresh match, Aiden English and Simon Gosh, the Vard villains, beat from the social outcasts, Kurt Saxon and Bo Dallas. And then Colin Cassidy came out and beat up both Vard villains and Kurt Saxon. So it looks like when and Enzo Murray comes back when he's cleared, um, that rivalry's going to continue. In another fresh match, Divas Action or Women's Action, Natalia and Becky Lynch beat woo, the Women's Champion of Charlotte and Emma, going for these, and it builds. The momentum for Natalia heading into Extreme Rules, and I presume it's going to be Becky Lynch versus Emma Extreme Rules. WWE Hall of Famer, former WWE Champion, Mr. Backlund, Bob Backlund, will be backstage. Um, so great to see Bob back. Darren wants to use him as a life coach or as a manager. So let me know what you guys below what you guys think. Do you think that's going to work for Darren Young? I think that's pretty huge. Bob Allen's a Hall of Famer and one of the longest reigning WWE champions of all time, so I think that's pretty big. In singles action, Rusev beat Zack Ryder. This will be the for Rusev heading into Extreme Wheels. We will take on Kalisto for the US Championship, possibly on the kickoff show. And your main event on SmackDown, six man tag team action, the powerhouse, the WWE World Weight Champion, the guy, Roman Reigns, and Jay and Jimmy the Usos beat the phenomenal AJ Styles and Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. So Carl Anderson making his SmackDown debut and Luke Gallows making his SmackDown re-debut. So that builds momentum for Roman heading into Extreme Rules. We will take up AJ Styles in an Extreme Rules match for the WWE World Weight Championship. That has been your SmackDown review. And I give that SmackDown six Brahma Balls out of ten. You had a, a few fresh matches and you had the debut of Carl Anderson on SmackDown and the re-debut of Luke Gallows, or Doc Gallows, what you want to call him. Um, I'm quite surprised at some of the releases that have happened today. Let me, you guys know, let me know below what, what, you, what, you, what were you surprised at. Or send me a tweet with the Rock Pate, or send me a message on Facebook, Richard J. Pate. But as I said, I am on holiday in Fort Ventura. That's been your SmackDown review. I'm going to go get, get pissed. I'm going to go and have a beer. 
See you guys later. If you somehow what the rock is cooking.